In this video, we will review the assembly of SARS-CoV-2 genomes. The most popular method for generating SARS-CoV-2 whole genome sequences is tiled amplicon RT-PCR, followed by sequencing with Illumina or Oxford Nanopore technology. The use of tiled amplicon sequencing allows samples with low viral genome copy number or degraded RNA to be assembled, but requires some modifications to standard NGS assembly protocols. This video outlines a workflow for the assembly of SARS-CoV-2 sequences from Illumina data. The workflow requires the BBDuck plugin. This free plugin can be installed by going to Tools and Plugins. This workflow has been tested on publicly available data sets from the NCBI SRA and gives identical results to the IVIA pipeline and the CDC analysis pipeline for Illumina Multiplex PCR. Prior to assembly, it's important to remove poor quality bases and the PCR primers used to generate the tiled amplicons. If the primer binding site in the genome contains mismatches to the primer, variants in those regions may be missed if the primer sequences are not removed prior to assembly and variant calling. The BBDuck plugin, with some modified settings, can be used to do both the quality trimming and the removal of amplicon primers in a single step. For paired end sequences, which have not been merged, the amplicon primer is located at the 5' prime end of each read. Prior to running BBDuck, the set of primer sequences used in sequencing must be imported into Genius, so that these can be selected for adapter trimming. A guide to importing Arctic Network and other tiled amplicon sequencing primer sets from CSV or TSV files is at this link. Once your primers have been imported into Genius, open BBDuck by going to Annotate and Predict and Trim with BBDuck. Under Adapters, select the folder containing the primer sequences and set Trim to Left End. Adjust the KMER length and maximum substitution settings as shown on the screen. To ensure only forward-facing primers at the start of the read are trimmed, add the following custom commands under More Options. RComp equals F and restrict left equals 32. To trim off low quality bases and filter out short reads, set trim low quality to 30 and discard short reads to 75 base pairs. The reference genome for SARS-CoV-2 can be obtained from NCBI. The accession number is MN908947. To map your trimmed reads to the sequence, select the file of trimmed reads and open Map to Reference under the Align Assemble button. Set the reference sequence in the Reference Chooser and set Sensitivity to Low and Fine Tuning Iterations to 3. Rather than generating a consensus sequence directly from this assembly, instead the preferred method for consensus sequence generation is to call variants on the assembled reads and then apply those variant bases to the reference sequence. This ensures that only statistically significant variants with good coverage depth are included in the consensus sequence. To call variants, select the contact assembly document produced by Map to Reference and go to Annotate and Predict and Find Variations and SNPs. Set the minimum coverage to 100 and turn off strand bias p-value. If the strand bias setting is left on, some variants may be missed as the tiled amplicon approach can result in portions of the genome being covered by only forward or only reverse reads. After the SNP calling has been completed, save the results and then go to Workflows and apply variants to reference to generate a new consensus sequence containing the variant bases. Visit our Resource Centre for more hands-on exercises and tutorials.